Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in a really long time. I've just been kind of busy doing Fiverr um, orders and selling and buying figures and it's just been kind of confusing and then some other life stuff. So I brought you a video today because I got a package in the mail with this Chief vs. Brute set and I thought I should do a review on it since I did a review on the other ones. And also, in this bag, I got something to help me make customs. If I can get it open. There we go. So, I have this epoxy putty stuff, which is going to really help me make customs that need cur big curved parts or, like, spherical parts. It's just really really useful for making figures so first up here's the chief versus brute set and you can watch me struggle to open it for a second um this i got because it's the cheapest one and i really thought that it looked cool the chief is very well painted I like the the brute uh, style that they did for the banish instead of this big like metallic scrappy metal bulky kind of figures they're like a mix of the two they still have the the things on their arms but they have the halo 3 legs and I just like the mix of the two it's not too bulky too sharp and it's not too halo 3 it's it's its own thing it's halo infinite which is something i really like so first here we have the assault rifle infinite assault rifle probably one of my favorite mega blocks assault rifles um the sight is in here it's tiny they they made removable sights for these things, but they're like tiny, so I've got to open this and hopefully not drop it anywhere. This also has some other um, guns in it. There's some grenades here, same as the old molds. And here's the sight. Let's, let's put the sight on. This thing is like so small. The last one I didn't even notice there was a site to put on it because it was in another bag and it was just so small. I was like, what is this part? But I really like the look of the infinite uh, assault rifles. And here's the, I forget what this one's called. Uh, it's like the new Mauler, I guess, but like the banished one. And here's the sidekick. I mean, I don't hate it as much as other people say. There's some things they could have done to make it look more like a Halo pistol, but I, it's no biggie. I thought this thing came out, the like the concussion rifle ones do, but it didn't. But there's these gold parts that you can see. That's really like intricate detail. Putting each of the bullets in. That's just so cool. And next up we have the gravity hammer, more detailed than the usual one. It, I usually uh, put silver details on my gravity hammers anyway, but this one just came pre-detailed, so that's great. This is one of the best things in here. It's the original energy sword, like mold, from old Mega Bloks. I didn't have any blue ones, I only had the green ones from zombie sets. That's honestly one of my favorite energy swords of all time. It just, it's nostalgic and just looks amazing. Here is some um, brute grenades, I forget what they're called. These, I don't know if they made in Mega Bloks yet. They look really cool, they're, they're kind of like squishy plastic bendy like the uh the plasma rifles this is the new gun that we don't know really anything about 
Is it UNSC? Is it banished? We don't know. And we don't know what it shoots. <laughs> so, I have one of these now. I, if I use it for an animation, I don't know what it would do. So, Also, here's the base plates for them. I really like just the solid like metallic color with the silver letters. The other ones used to just be black with white letters or some of them had a, a design, but these ones, the solid colors, just stand out a lot more. This is the Banished Brute. Ah, uh, this might be one of my favorite brute figures of all time. I like the Halo 3 boots, they look really good. But this for a banished one is really cool. The other ones I liked, but they were kind of too sharp for me and metallic. They looked like they went to a scrapyard and super glued a bunch of stuff to themselves. So these I really like. I like how they put the detail for the feet, like made it white like the other, the rest of the skin. And the head for this is actually different. They changed it from the old heads. The old brute heads were based on the Halo 2 Anniversary Brutes, and these are actually based on the Infinite Brutes. This chief figure is also one of my favorite chief figures. It's almost identical to the one from the Warthog Rally, except for it's got this silver like weathering on it that just makes it so much better. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. The visors may be a different color too. And the face is painted a little better, a little more intricate. But that's honestly one of my favorite figures. Instruction manual, not that you really need to see it. <laughs> so, also, I uh, made a video recently and tried to upload it and I couldn't it, YouTube wouldn't let me it was like a 20 minute video it was a banished elite ranger and I was very sad that it wouldn't upload but um, I'll put some pictures of it up at the end I'm just kind of sad that it didn't work uploading it it was super fun to make and that's probably most of the reason why it took so long to get this video out. Because I was trying to upload that other one. So this is the putty. This stuff is half blue, half yellow. Well, a little more yellow, I think. And you mix it together and it makes green. And then you can basically put it on your figure and whatever you want it to do. And then in a couple hours, it will dry and harden to what you molded it to. I've done a couple figures with this already. Um, I tried just making this randomly armor, and it was pretty cool. And I also tried making... Uh, someone ordered, actually, a elite zealot from Halo Reach, and... The character um, Taka from the Halo Legends, uh, like cartoons, kind of. They were like short uh, animations from the lore of Halo. And so I tried it out, and it was really actually useful. I couldn't have done it just with plastic and super glue parts and stuff. Anyway, so. This set was honestly a win. If you can get it, honestly get it. It's only $10 US and it's worth every every penny. You get new weapons, you get two new figures. It's not that expensive and it's good for getting the new weapons. Honestly, the Recon Getaway is probably my favorite for army building, but if you really want to get a bunch of bandaged brutes, this might be your way to go. It's almost the price of one of the Halo heroes, 
and you get more Master Chief and more weapons. So, I mean, that's kind of a win. Also, I wanted to mention that my Fiverr is still up, and I can make you a custom figure, whatever you want. Uh, a lot of people have been um, talking to me and asking me if I could do something, and then they never ordered it, so I don't know if they're just waiting to order it, or just debating on if they want to even order it. But, if you want to, just, I mean, if you don't have the money, I don't want to, like, say that it's necessary. But, I've had a lot of people try to order one that were not in the U.S., and I am sorry, but I can't send out of the U.S because it's just, shipping is just too expensive for me and for the buyer. Um, it's, I, I don't want to have to sell a figure for $25. It's just, that's way too much. But, I do sell in the U.S. So if that's something that you are considering doing, I am happy to make your figure. I've already had one order from a guy, and I made his figure, and he actually ordered two more figures. So that's that's what the Zealot and the Halo um, Legends character is for. But it's just super cool to send people custom figures that they want, and to just see one of my creations in someone else's hands happy with what they had that's just really cool so anyway hope you have a great day probably gonna be coming out with another video soon not six days later and see you guys later everybody, everybody, everybody.